this is Spring Theory the Mousetrap Car on constructing a mousetrap car with a single pair of gears. There are various resources available to help you build an easy DIY mousetrap car, but most of them do not use gears because it's not so easy to build a mousetrap car with gears. So here we are with the walkthrough. Hi, I'm Dawn DeWitt. Charles Tharp and I have many years experience with mousetrap cars and we will share information with you that will help you build a mousetrap car with gears that works. Stick with us to the end of the video. We think you'll find it a good use of your time. We hope you will like and share the video, share with friends, and subscribe to our channel so that you'll be notified as new material becomes available because mousetrap cars do not grow on trees. In part one, I prepared the gearbox of the mousetrap car using a template to situate the gears into the gearbox. So if you just tuned in, be sure to watch part one of Spring Theory the Mousetrap Car on constructing a mousetrap car with a single pair of gears. In this part two video, we'll construct the gearbox and assemble all the components to make this mousetrap car. Use pliers and remove the bait hook and locking lever from the mousetrap. One of the CD axle reducer sets needs to be located about 0.2 centimeters from the outside of the gear end of the drive axle. With the CD axle reducer set in place next to the gear with the prong sides out, place some glue on the end of the axle and move the reducer set into the glue to secure in place. The hub needs to sit straight up and down on the axle with no wobbling during rotation. Work to achieve this by slowly spinning the axle between your fingers and correcting the positioning of the hub as the glue cools. Each card piece will be placed so that it is flush with the bail end of the mousetrap. We'll make a perpendicular reference mark on each side of the mousetrap to position the gearbox pieces on the sides of the mousetrap. Therefore, the rear end of the gearbox will be about 1.2 centimeters from the VN of the mousetrap. The time has come to separate the card pieces. Butterfly the gearbox card pieces symmetrically with the lines on the front facing out and surrounding the mousetrap. This will be their relative position to one another. Align the uncut edges of the card pieces with the top edge of the mousetrap and the reference lines that are drawn on the edge of the mousetrap. Tape the card pieces in place using the tape on the outside of the gearbox. Place the axles with the gears on them through the proper holes in the gearbox to help with alignment. The axles need to be parallel to each other and perpendicular to the long edges of the mousetrap. Gears and axles should turn freely in either direction. Using small drops of glue, glue one side of the gearbox onto the mousetrap, placing glue at each end and the center of the card piece so that it touches the card piece and the mousetrap. Check for proper alignment of card pieces and axles. Glue the second card piece onto the mousetrap using three drops of hot glue on the inside. Allow the glue to cool before removing the tape. Place one of the small follower wheels onto the remaining axle. It will need to be glued if it's loose. Place a small amount of glue on the outside edge of the wheel axle and move the wheel into the glue. Insert the axle through the front axle holes in the gearbox and glue the second follower wheel onto the axle. The wheels should be close to the gearbox, but not so snug that the wheels can't spin freely. Next, assemble the components of each gear axle by placing a washer immediately behind the gear then insert the axle through one side of the gearbox only. Then place a second washer on the axle immediately behind the card piece. Next, place the keeper, a piece of airline tubing, on the axle next to the second washer. 
Then insert the other end of the axle through the proper hole in the other side of the gearbox and slide the keeper into place. Make it close but not too snug. The axle should turn freely. You will need to use your fingernail to push that tubing along the axle. For the large drive gear axle, the same process. Install a washer on the axle behind the gear, insert the axle through one side of the gearbox only, then place a second washer on the axle immediately behind the card piece. Next, place the keeper on the axle. You will need to use your fingernail to move that tubing down the axle. Insert the axle through the other side of the gearbox and snug the keeper and washer up. Not too tight, the axle needs to turn freely. Install the small plastic tie wrap onto the large gear axle, about one centimeter off center. Snug it down onto the axle so that it does not slip. Trim the tail off to a stub. Use a small amount of glue to secure in place. Install the second CD axle reducer hub onto the non-gear end of the drive wheel axle. It needs to be about a half a centimeter away from the end of the axle with the prongs facing out. Place glue on the outside of the hub and move the hub into the glue to secure in place. Install the CD wheels by pressing them firmly onto the prongs of the hub. If they're loose, they can be glued with a minimal amount of glue. The wheels need to sit straight up and down on the hub with no wobbling during rotation. Correct the positioning after gluing if it is necessary. Attach the small binder clip to the rear end of the mousetrap. This is a quick way to guide the string and keep the string from binding into the end of the mousetrap during operation. Now let's attach the engine to the drivetrain. Tie a 1 cm to 1.4 cm long overhand loop in one end of a 30 cm long non-stretchy string. This is simply a granny knot like one you would tie in an inflated balloon. Drop the loop over the stub of the tie wrap and thread the free end of the string between the mouse trap and the axles through the binder clip handles and around the end of the mouse trap towards the uncocked bale. Tie the string around the bale with an adjustable knot known as a taut line hitch. Make sure the string is just long enough to reach from the bale to the stub of the tie wrap. Too long and the car will back up once it's unwrapped all the string. Ta-da! Mousetrap car with gears! I hope you like this video and share with your friends. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, what are you waiting for? Be sure to watch the video on how to operate a mousetrap car. Until next time, because mousetrap cars do not grow on trees.